Okay, so let's go back to this though. The two primary ways of controlling exposure, shutter speed and f-stop or aperture. Okay. Let's talk about shutter. How does the shutter control exposure? It does this by controlling how long light hits the recording medium, be it film or CCD. So inside of your camera, there is a shutter. And the shutter is closed most of the time. Like I said, it only opens for that brief period of time when you go to take a photo. Now, on almost all cameras manufactured today, there are two basic types of shutters. There is the focal plane shutter, and then there is the leaf shutter. The one that you are most likely to come across is the focal plane shutter, because that's the type of shutter incorporated in almost all SLR cameras. That's true for both digital SLR and film SLR. If the camera that you have, though, is a rangefinder camera, so a point-and-shoot camera you might take on vacation, uh, it might have a different type of shutter. A lot of digital cameras have leaf shutters instead of focal plane shutters. There is another name for a leaf shutter, which you should know, because if you were reading in a photography book or a magazine, and you were reading about the shutter, if you were reading, for example, the specs on a camera you were thinking about purchasing, it might not call it a, a leaf shutter, it might call it a diaphragm shutter. We're going to focus primarily on, on focal plane shutters, though, because we use SLR cameras in crime scene photography, and most SLR cameras have focal plane shutters. Now they do look different, and they're also found in different places in the camera. Leaf shutters versus focal plane shutters. Uh, let's look at a focal plane shutter. Everybody grab that film camera that I asked you to get out tonight. So grab this film camera that I asked you guys to get out tonight. You guys have the cheaper ProMaster camera. I have this, this Nikon, Nikon FM10. By the way, the Nikon FM10 and the Canon AE-1, those were the standard crime scene cameras for 25 years. What you have on, in your desk there, in your hand, the ProMaster camera, that's a kind of a knockoff version of the, of the Nikon FM-10. Right, I'm going to have you open up the back of the camera. If you watch with me, the way you do that is, if you're holding the camera on the left-hand side, your left-hand side, there is a little... Uh, rewind button that allows you to rewind this. Remember, this is a film camera, not a digital camera. So if you were rewinding the film, you would put this little lever up and you would rewind your film this way. But to open up the back of the camera, because we're going to open up so we can look at the shutter, what you do, and everybody look at me for a moment, you're going to grab this rewind lever, you're going to pull it up, and then if you keep pulling up, the back of the camera is going to pop open. So please go ahead and pop open the back of that film camera. All right, so pop it, pop it open like I've done here. So these, of course, these are ancient. I know you guys are like, so not really. Good. This was my technology. It really, well, this was my technology for lots and lots of years. But all right, so this, if you were shooting film, right, a 35 millimeter camera, you have to put the film in. So you have to pop up on the back of the camera. You would load your film canister here on the left side. You'd stretch the film across the back. Right, and then it would wind on, uh, if you're looking at the back of the camera, we'll be on your right hand side. Now I want you to notice, if, you're, if you've got the back of the camera open, notice that there is a little opening right here, right? And right now, that opening is covered up with what kind of looks a little bit like these, almost like blinds, like Venetian blinds, right? What you're looking at there is the shutter. That's the shutter, okay? And notice right now, as you look inside of the, of the camera, that shutter is closed right now, right? It's closed. It's not open. It's closed. And, it's, and the shutter is closed most of the time. The only time, don't do that yet, please. I'm going to get to it in a second. 
The only time the shutter does in fact open, and I'm going to do it in just a second, and I'm going to let you do this in a moment, not yet though. The only time it does, if I push the shutter release button, oops, I didn't want to. If I push the shutter release button, the shutter opens. Here's my be busted. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do, everybody look at me. Now, a couple of these cameras. Oh, I did last one. That's all. Okay, look at me for a moment, okay? Remember, these are film cameras. So when you would take photos with this camera, you would, to take a photo, you'd push the shutter release button. And then when you want to take the next photo, you would have to advance the film. So on your camera, there is this armature, this black armature on the right hand side. You're holding the camera pointing forward. And then what you would do is to advance the film, you would flip the armature as far as you can to the right and then release it. Right? That would advance the film and then it would also reset the shutter. So what you're going to do is you're going to advance the film and reset the shutter by moving that armature as far as you can to the right. If it's already done, then all you have to do is push the shutter release button to set it off. All right. So go ahead and, and do that. Go ahead and uh, move that armature, reset the shutter. So I know this is not the same question, but you basically you manually control the shutter. Speed. That's correct. We're gonna get to that in a second. Yeah. <laughs> this one's actually busy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. If you want to, you can set the shutter off once or twice, right? Again, you just, again, advance the film, reset the shutter by flipping that armature, and you can push the button and set it off once or twice. Please don't touch the shutter with your finger, by the way. These, the, the cameras you have on your desk are not well made, right? These are old, cheap, plastic cameras, and those shutters are easily damaged. Again, notice that the shutter remains closed most of the time, except for that brief period of time where you push the button to take a photo, right? So far, so good? All right, if I were to ask you on the test, and by the way, I'm going to, where this shutter is located, all right? So let's think about this for a moment. All right, so remember in terms of our camera, we're going to look up for just one moment. <coughs> what do we call this thing here? That's the camera body. This is the lens housing. Now we know the lens is in here, but what else is in the lens housing? The aperture. If you have a focal plane shutter, which is what we have, where is that focal plane shutter? Is it in the lens housing? No, it's in the body of the camera. Where is it at in the body of the camera? It's in the back. So if I were to ask you on the test, where would you find a focal plane shutter? You would say that it's in the camera body in the back. In fact, it sits right in front of the recording medium. In the digital camera, it's in the back too. That's correct. Uh, what, was the, what was the question again? Where would you find a focal plane shutter? It would be in the camera body, in the back. In fact, there's a reason we call it a focal plane shutter. I'll draw you a little picture here. Focal plane, F-O-C-A-L, spelled right there on top, right there. Thank you. No problem. That's no problem. Okay, so think about your camera, right? So we have our camera body, represented by this little square box there, right? We have our lens that sits here in the front, lens housing that has the lens in it, correct? The light travels through the lens where it is focused. That light is focused back here. What do we put right there where it focuses? Recording medium. If it was a film camera, that's where we put our piece of film. If it's a digital camera, that's right where we would put the sensor. Where is the shutter located in this camera? Right in front of it. Right in front of what we call the focal plane. So we call it a focal plane shutter because it sits right in front of the focal plane. Well, when we, um, we did this, how, 
me go to see a recording. Because that, you don't have any film in there right oh. now. Because that's a film camera. Can we see it in a video? Uh, we're not going to do it in digital because doing what we're doing with these film cameras is not good for the camera. I'm allowing you to do it with the film camera now because I'm using those as a teaching tool. We don't want to do it, and you shouldn't. If you have your own camera, don't you go home and do this with your own camera. Don't. You could, if you wanted to, I don't recommend you do it, you could actually take the, you can't open up the back of the digital camera. What you could do though, if you wanted to look at the sensor, at, at the shutter, Everybody grab your digital camera for a moment. I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab your digital camera. Don't you do it. <laughs> what you would do is you would take the lens off, which is what I've done, right? So I took, so the lens was on here. All right, so I took the lens off. All right, if I were then to look through the front of the camera, right now, you can't see the shutter, and there's a reason for that, because right now there's a mirror in the way. Because actually, with an SLR camera, there's a mirror that sits right there. What that mirror does then is when you're looking through the camera, it actually rebounds the light up to your eyeball, which is up here. But when you go to take a photo, that mirror, which is sitting in that position right now, actually flips up out of the way so that the light can then hit the recording medium. So if you wanted to see the shutter, and if you wanted to see your actual CCD in your camera, you could take the lens off like I've done now. You could put the camera in the M for manual mode, adjust the shutter to a fairly long shutter speed, push the button to take a photo, and the mirror would flip up out of the way and you'd actually be able to see through back to where the CCD is. Also, you'd be able to see the shutter. I don't want you to do that because it's bad for the camera. What I am going to do, though, is in, the, in our course, in Canvas, there are some supplemental videos, which I'm actually going to ask you to watch, where it actually shows you those parts of the digital camera that I'm not showing you here in class tonight. But there is a shutter that sits right there. It's a focal plane shutter. Again, it's called a focal plane shutter because it sits right on the back focal plane. Clear? If you had a leaf shutter, this big honking camera has a leaf shutter. Okay? This is a view camera. Right? I'm not going to use this at the crime scene, but we do use cameras like this in the crime lab. This camera uses sheet film, so it actually slides the sheet of film in. Right? The shutter for this camera, though, is not here in the back where the film goes. The shutter for this camera is actually up here in front, right next to the lens. And it's actually a leaf shutter as opposed to a full plane shutter. It looks different, too. Notice a leaf shutter looks like this. It's almost like a portal, right, that opens and closes, like blades or a diaphragm opening that opens and closes. If your camera did have a leaf shutter, where would you find it? Would it be in the camera body? No, it would be where? It would be in the lens house. This camera does not. A lot of digital point-and-shoot cameras if your camera phone, for example, actually is equipped with a shutter, it's likely to have a leaf shutter, not a focal plane shutter. So far, so good. Questions? Okay. Now, can I change how quickly that shutter opens and closes? The answer is I can. And that's going to be our next discussion. But we've been going for about an hour now. I'm going to give you guys a break. Go use the restroom, get a drink real quick. Come back in and we're going to talk about that next.